Hi, everybody. Welcome, all you SAS users. Um, we've got a great update for you today, and we wanted to, to, to show you what it is. Um, we are going to be doing a little more in-depth training video and some more documentation, but this is to kind of kick things off and, and get everybody familiar with, with what this new feature is. So, Al, what exactly is this new update that, uh, that we've done? Hi, folks. Yeah, what we've been working on the last couple of weeks is improving the sort of text search in SAS. So we've always been really good at searching for barcodes, search for ASINs, and now we've modified our sort of text search to, to be as good as we possibly can be. So what we've what we've improved is the relevancy of what we find, the speed of both the technology speed of actually finding things and the user interface speed for actually finding things. And we've added some extra functionality. Um, I'm going to try and keep this video pretty short, but there's, there's quite a few things to cover. But so what I'll do, I will do the new search now. I'm just going to search on Lego because I will do Lego space. I've done that before. Because we all search on Lego, I think. Yeah. And I, so this search is relevant. It, it's working in the well, mobile app, the Chrome extension, and the web app. And there's slight differences in all of these. But I will go show, we start off with the web app and show you the big differences in the web app and what the benefits are. So you can see the results have all have come up. What we have now, we've got some extra information on the results. So you've so got product title, review count, and the category, and the image, and the price. We are also showing now the BSR, so your best sellers rank, and so what percentage it is in the category, and the highlighting list like we do in a normal SAS screen, whether it meets your criteria or not. So the criteria you set in your settings will highlight this now on the search results page. We're also showing the max cost. So this is the max cost you should be paying to meet your return on investment criteria and your profit criteria. And we're showing you the number of offers. So you can see here whether Amazon's on the listing, there's like how many FBA offers there are, and how many FBM offers there are. I think just to speak for the new people that are out there, if you haven't explored these panels, this is replicating, uh, as Al said, what's in the full SAS analysis, um, the panels that are within there. And again, go into your settings. If you haven't set up your settings to help SAS understand your criteria, please go and do that now. Okay. So the, the idea behind the speed wise is if something doesn't meet your criteria, you can now tell it from the search page you don't even need to go into full SAS analysis. So you can look at the search page and say, okay, that doesn't work, I'll move on to something else. So other icons we have here, the Amazon logo will take you to the Amazon listing for that pet, for, the, for this product. And clicking the title will take you to the full SAS results, the actual product SAS result page. In this window, clicking this one will take it into a new window. Now we also have the Chrome extension icon. So if you click on any of these results in the web app, it will automatically load in the SAS extension. So if you go down, and again, this is a real speed optimization. So you can just, without ever leaving the search page, you can look at, the, at, your, at your different products results. And this is this is really big because many people have explained to us, you know, they're they're trying to they're trying to go through it at a quicker pace. So this will enable you to to have the full SAS analysis right next to your list as you're searching. Okay. And I think it so, obviously you need to have the Chrome extension installed to do this. So if you haven't installed that yet, please do so. Yeah. So we're showing the first sort of ten results. Can't quite see it with the faces. We click load more, load your next 10. And you can basically keep loading more and it'll go through the actual Amazon search. And Al, we, what does it mean? I see that there's some, some buttons on the max cost that say calculate. Right. If we normally, so the max cost is calculated based on your settings. But if you don't have um, enough information initially, we've got the calculate and we'll just go and do a bit more extra analysis to get the, to get the price. And like over time, we will build, the, our database will grow. Uh, you, you, this calculate button will become less and less. 
And, and just like as in the SAS analysis page, if you have visited a product before and you've actually put in a cost price there, obviously it would calculate based on that cost price that you have entered. So I do a search for so paddling pools. What we're using now is the Amazon sort of search engine. So we are returning what Amazon would return if you search for paddle, for paddle pools. Okay, so with that one, I could call it paddle pools rather than paddling pools, and we're sort of still getting results back. And again, I like, we've gone for so it's speed from both the sort of technology and the user interface on this. The other thing that we've added into the, the web app search, we've got this new, new button here now, which is paste and search, which you can, you can probably guess what that does. What I'll do, if I go to a, a spreadsheet, I've got a few things in here. So if I copy Scuba Action Man, on the web app, if you just click, click the button, it pastes the Scuba Action Man in and does the search for you. So it's just another quick shortcut. So if you've got a wholesale list that you want to go through, you can just you can be copy and pasting with the mouse. You don't have to be going back and forth between the keyboard and the mouse. Save you a few clicks in the process. We're doing, let's say, a search in the extension. We'll use Star Trek. So you'll still get your results just as you do in the web app there. You'll get the, the BSR and the max cost and the offers. Um, but obviously, you won't be able to click and launch the extension because you're in the extension. <laughs> so um, goes, same goes for the mobile app as well. Your results on the mobile app will also display just as they do uh, in these other two tools. And, and you'll stuff. notice then, and all the enhancements as far as um, search terms and things and the speed is all there in the other tools as well. Okay. So th that's how the, so the web app really sort of benefits. And I think having the extension, the web app, being able to just click between them like that will be a massive time saver for people. Huge, huge time saver. I think there's probably people out there saying, oh my gosh, already. So let's talk about how it works on other websites, Al. So the, so the Chrome extension part, so I've, I've just gone on to Boots. Um, so you, we've always been able to right click and do a search in SAS from any websites. So I'll have a quick look on offers, um, electrical beauty. Well, okay. Um, <laughs> oh, I, I remember I used, to, I used to sell these mirrors a, a long time ago. Yes, you did. Actually, that's quite, that's quite a good price for them as well, actually. <laughs> so if I select the text and do a right click, you can see it's coming up here. So in this one, so on Amazon, it's £31. Our max cost is 17 66 And this doesn't quite meet our criteria. But I'll, if, I'll you get some, if anybody has some coupons or some points you want to use, might might meet that criteria. Yeah, but, but I'll, I'll go and have a look anyway. And just, we'll check the stock levels. So yeah, but like everybody's around about the same price. Okay. Um, okay. Go on. So that allows you like to say you, you right click search. Yeah. Can you show them? Um, yeah, I was gonna say, can you show them the, the, most people are used to highlighting text and then right clicking, um, but I think there's there's gonna be something that'll make it even a little easier now to do that. Yeah, so when it when it's um, a link, it can be awkward to highlight a text like that on some sites. What we can do, if you just right click the link, do SAS, and that's it, it comes straight up. And it will look up I think the this entire, could be an interesting one actually. Yeah. It will look so up the that, entire uh, term that you, the entire link term that you that you highlight there. Yeah. So with, with this one, it's got no buy box. So I'm, I'm actually going to have a quick quick look at quick look at this one. No buy box, twenty pound. Sales sales price is thirty two. A few offers. So if it was thirty two, max cost is eighteen. Let's we'll try it with twenty. Okay, you've been making some profit, not a massive amount. But in, I'm not, this demo isn't meant to be finding profitable products. It's how fast you can actually 
<laughs> Scum things. That, that's a different chapter. Yeah. Um, let me. So I've got no idea what this is. Look, a quick session. All right. So you can see like the results are coming up purely from I'm not having to select the text or anything fiddly like that. It is just a really quick right click search. And I think one thing that, that people kind of overlook sometimes on the app as well, or on the um, using the extension, is that you can use it on any text. So it doesn't have to be an e-commerce site. So um, if you're reading a blog or you're you know looking at the next big trend and you think, ooh, that's something you want to jump on and start sourcing or at least start analyzing, um, yeah, you can look, you can you can sass any of the text. And that's always been the case, but I think. Even more so now, yeah, exactly. Even more so now, I think, um, now that we've added the speed factor in, uh, it's just one more thing to, to remind people about. Yeah, so if I did do a search for quite, quite a lot of text here, we're still going to get results. Admittedly, the results are a bit weird from what I searched on. <laughs> it's from somebody's but, review text. <laughs> yeah, that's... But there, but, there will be, but there will be results, that's the key, so... Like, I, I, if I go to Smith's, I know Smith's is quite a good one for um, di different different uh, products. If I search for, we'll do um, Barbie. And this just shows how fast you can actually do this now, where we're just right clicking. Okay, that's not as well there. You can load more and keep looking to see if this product actually comes up. Not, it, okay, not that, finding that. Yeah, that's a great Sorry. point, Al, as far as, as far as searching and looking. I mean, I think one way people are going to use this a lot is being able to scan through really quickly and see, number one, is there no buy box? Number one is Amazon, or number two is Amazon on the listing. They'll be able to get a, a much quicker view. And then, um, and then you'll be able to, if you want to come back and maybe analyze that product, launch it in a different window. Um, so you've got all your Chrome windows waiting for you to, to go do a full analysis of something. Yeah, so, so in, in that time I've searched for a good half a dozen, half a dozen products. Yeah, yeah. So, so, and, and really, I think there's a number of different ways that the speed will be utilized. We're just kind of giving you a couple examples. You'll all probably have your own ideas of how you thought in the past it would be nice to speed things up. But yeah, the, the quality of the search results, the speed of the search results, and frankly, you know, we're, we're doing something new here. We're giving you the, the, the facts that you need to see in order to see if you want to further analyze that product right in front with the search results. So you're, you're literally able to go through and analyze faster or at least give a first glance and see if you want to analyze further. All right. Okay. Anything so, else, Al? So this will... uh, yeah, probably. Uh, so we, we will do a more in-depth training sort of video on how to use, how to use this. Yeah. What I want to do now is just a very quick overview to show people basically a quick overview. Yeah, exactly. So, so certainly um, fire off any questions, pop them in here uh, on the Facebook group if you want, folks. Um, email support at selleramp.com if you have any questions, happy to address them. Um, and yeah, like Al said, we'll be, we'll be putting some more out there about this. Um, also want to let people know there's another enhancement coming very shortly, probably in the next week, that I think um, we'll, uh, we'll get some oohs and ahs out of the group. So. On that okay. note, we will say yeah. thank you, everybody. Actually, one thing I, I will add, <laughs> you, you, okay. you need to make sure you have the latest version of the extension. So if you, get, you go to the Chrome store, you can either remove SAS and re-add it in. I, I am finding Chrome now normally automatically updates pretty quickly. Yeah. But you, so, if ever in doubt, just, just um, remove it and add it back on. It won't change anything about your SAS account by doing that. Yeah. Yep, perfect. Okay, that's All it. Right. Cheers, guys. Thanks, everybody. Have Bye. a great day.